Once upon a time in the project. <laughs> Here comes Studs up to the 18th fairway of the Masters Championship and what has to be the sports story of the year. A poor boy from the projects who once dreamed of driving a big black caddy has instead become one. Hey, Super. Hey, boys, where you been? Five o'clock's awfully late to be coming home from school. We were out an extracurricular activity. Well, I get a detention. Uh, no. We were at wrestling practice. Ah, wrestling, the sport of kings, the national pastime, the sweet science, America's game. So why don't you boys show me some of your wrestling moves? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you boys doing? Wrestling. Is that what you call that half Nelson Mandela crap? That ain't no wrestling. Where the hell are the power drives and the atomic leg drops? The chicken wing power bombs. You know professional wrestling. This is how our coach said to do it. Well, forgive me, boys, but your coach sound like a B.I.H. Hmm. I'll teach you boys how to wrestle proper myself. <laughs> Would you boys believe that I once earned a living wearing this? You were a basketeer? No, stupid. That's a Jewish hat. Super was a rabbi. No, this was a costume I wore in the ring. Back from when I was a professional wrestler. Yeah, they used to call me the Conquering Conquistador. Wow! Were you in the WWF? Oh, no, this was before the WWF. I was down with NWA, the Negro Wrestling Association. See, this was back during the glory days of segregation. Ah, uh, I can still remember the roar of the crowd when we came in through the service entrance. Hey, how'd you get all these? Well, back in the day, if you defeated someone, you got to keep his costume. These are all the people I was able to beat in my career. The Crybaby, the Tooth Fairy, the Gallivan Gimp. So who do you boys want to be? Oh, I want to be the damn sore. That's a boy ballerina. Oh, uh, yeah. How about you be the Grave Digger? I'm going to dance on your grave. Digger, please, in the ring. Uh huh. <laughs> See what I did there, boy? That's the revolving matador, the signature move of the conquering conquistador. <laughs> Well, we better make sure. <laughs> yeah, he's stuck all right. Well, don't worry, Juicy, I'll get help. Hurry! Well, why, you ain't going nowhere, Negro. Oh, ah, don't worry, son. The firemen are here, and uh, we're going to get you out. The hell you are. If anybody's going to rescue this boy, it's got to be the police. I didn't risk my life coming to this neighborhood for nothing. <laughs> Would you look at that, Lundergaard? That kid is in trouble, and all those government stooges can worry about is jurisdiction. Yeah. Toss another quarter on there, would you? It's always bureaucratic red tape. It makes me so sick I could toss my metrics bar. Well, that little boy in the sewer, you know, was like a son to me. I was teaching him how to, I was teaching him how to wrestle. You know, he... Yeah, he just, just wanted to wrestle. 
I'm sorry, I can't, I can't continue. <laughs> you hear that? That poor kid's a wrestler, just like I used to be. Well, that's it. Call the limo on the guard. We're going to the inner city. But, Senator, what about your lunch with Stone Cold Strom Thurmond and Daniel Macho Man Moynihan? Sir? One of you please do something. I wish it were that easy, sir, but uh, there are boundary disputes here and no simple solution to resolve them. Well, we could flip a coin. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, I'll make us well in a quarter. <laughs> I'll give him the Heimlich. You mean I'll give him the Heimlich? I'm a trained paramedic. Yeah, and I'm a cop. I think I know a little about choking young black men, okay? Someone, please help me. I'm slowly dying. Don't worry, Juicer. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Disgraceful! Don't you filthy people know not to dump your fat kids in the sewer? It flows right into the ocean. Oh my god, a hearse! Juicy dead! That's not a hearse, it's a limousine. Oh. <laughs> Owen. That's right, son. Only I'm not about physique anymore. I'm about mind. So I'd ask you to please call me Deke the Brain, or I'll grind you into powder. Now please, excuse me. Who's in charge here? Me. me. Step aside. Hey there, little wrestling fan. What's your name? Juicy. Really? What the hell kind of a name is that? Oh, no. How'd you get stuck in there? I just wanted to dance. I'll find out what that means later. In the meantime, don't you worry, Juicy. I'm gonna get you out of there. <laughs> super? Now you hold on, Juicy. I'm gonna get you out of here. The super? <laughs> push, Juicy, push! I am pushing, but <laughs> super's pulling my Hey, you down there. I'll pull and you push. Got it? Check. Okay. One, two, three. You saved my life. Thank you, mister. Uh, uh. Deke the Brain Van Owen. What the hell kind of name is that? Way to go, Deke. It's about time a real man showed up. Yeah, it's about time. Now hold on. I can't take all the credit. I couldn't have done it without the help of the poor homeless man who lives in the sewer. That was my husband. Very good. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Oh, there he is now. Get it? <laughs> Hi there. Good to meet you. Yeah, good to see you. I will not shake this man's hand. I don't understand. No, you never did understand, did you, Van Owen? This fraud has absolutely no respect for the dignity of the black man. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe there's a baby alligator in my pants. <laughs> Thurgood, would you mind telling me what got into you out there? What could you possibly have against Deke the Physique Van Owen? Look, I don't want to talk about it, Muriel the Butt Insky Stubbs. Wait a minute. Is this something from your wrestling days? <laughs> Fine. But he's on his way over right now for a potluck dinner, so you had better start cleaning up your act. And also wash that sewage off your hands. And I say, I thought you were going to thank the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mistake anyone could have made, Senator Van Owen. 
Senator Van Owen, that's a pretty sissy name for a wrestler. It's not a wrestling name. He actually is the senator of our state. Hey, tell us about when you were a Navy SEAL. Did you ever kill anyone? Well, Calvin, unfortunately, killing is a necessary part of war. <laughs> Big deal. I killed plenty of SEALs when I was in the Navy, and that wasn't even my job. Mr. Stubbs, I get the feeling you're upset with me about something. Oh, like you don't know. Well, maybe this will refresh your memory. Holy! You were the drunk that ruined my wedding. No, I was the conquering conquistador. Remember now? Remember a little thing called the Negro League? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. See, back then, us black wrestlers weren't allowed with the white leagues, so we had to create our own. Then you came along, leading the charge for integration and one league for all. Before we knew it, all our top guys left, but not me. In the end, it was just me and that midget wrestler, Hershey Squirt. The Negro League had vanished into history. Oh. Hey, look, a lot of those guys who went with me ended up making millions of dollars and living out their dreams. Oh, is that how you measure success? Getting rich and living out your dreams? Well, not me. Perhaps I should be going. No, don't go. Yeah, don't listen to him. We hate him. Well, I'm sure you all have to get up early for work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you must mean get up early and look for work. What do you mean? <laughs> Aren't there jobs available here? <laughs> Why don't we give the senator a little tour of our neighborhood? Well, here we are in the business district. Man, this is deplorable. There's practically no commerce here. We're doing just fine, thank you. See, look at that place. That's the unemployment office, stupid. Look, folks, I know you love your community, but I gotta tell ya, it's down for the count. You need some jobs. Don't worry, though. I'm your tag team partner. All you gotta do is reach out and touch my hand, and we'll body slam this problem together. <laughs> hey, I said my hand. Hello, Hilton Jacobs! Yeah! Yeah! Hello! Over the past week, HUD and I considered several options to improve your situation, and I'm happy to announce that we have decided upon a new sports arena. Yeah! Wait, did he say sports arena? Allow me to demonstrate. Now I know why they call him the physique. Mario! <laughs> I represent the sports arena. Oops, here come two thugs that always go hand in hand. Crime and poverty. <laughs> Not to fear, the sports arena brings his tag team partner, John. And once poverty is out, crime doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> and that's how this sports arena will help your community. Y'all can't see what he's up to, but I've seen it before. Oh, sure, he'll seduce you with his promises of a better life. But what if it turns out there's no place for you? You end up your days in some cross-town bar, just like Hershey Squirt. That's right, Hershey Squirt was dwarf tossed for money. He was a tossed dwarf until they disqualified him when they found out he was a midget. And where was your damn integration then? I'm doing this for the neighborhood, Stubbs. What is your problem? Y'all the problem, and I'm the... Uh, uh, what's that thing called that cures a problem, Muriel? The cure? 
That's right, the cure, I'm the cure. And I say your sports arena ain't never gonna get built. Those are some tough words from a man who doesn't know too many. Dean, are you gonna take this? That arena is going up and you're going down. Oh yeah? Well, third good stuff does not go down. Tell him, Muriel. <sighs> Folks, it looks like we've got a real grudge match here. That's right. I'm ready to take it to the people. I know my fans. Do you want my new sports arena? Yeah. Uh, A well, fine billion sports arena, but you'll never see my ass dark in the seats. I still got my pride. Oh, yeah. Residents of the Hilton Jacobs Projects, today you're marching to a bright new tomorrow. I give you the Nell Carter Big Astrodome. Hey, look! Skyboxes! Ooh! Wonder who you got to sleep with to get one of those. Uh, they're free. Hey, there's no parking lot. Where are the people going to park? Well, I'm afraid that's the one hitch. The Hilton Jacobs would have to be sacrificed for this state-of-the-art parking lot. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're going to pay paradise and put up a parking lot? Yes. But I'm happy to inform you that you'll all be relocated to new apartments throughout the city. See, didn't I tell you? He gonna split us all up just like in Roots. What do you say now? Can we keep our names? Of course. I'm going upriver. Yeah. Oh, so exciting. Goody, we're moving on. Mm -hmm. Damn shame. I hope my building has a rooftop where I can go nude sunbathing. I hope my building doesn't have a view of your roof. I hope your new neighbors like you. I still don't understand why it's so easy for you to leave your community, Muriel. It's not easy. I loved our years here, but I also know that moving to the projects was never supposed to be permanent. Remember? I know, but who knew I'd live this long? <laughs> well, I'm gonna take one last look around the place. Good times. Good times. Skinny fingers. Why don't you try? Oh, all right. Mm. What on earth? <gasps> Mary Warren, make me your husband. Oh, yes, they're good. Yes. Thanks, old buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, is everyone out? Because we're ready to tear it down and start building the future. Get it. Demolition's off. You're not knocking down my building. Move your ass or I'll move it for you. Phoebe wants her new apartment. Yeah, well, I'm not leaving. This building is ours. And you ain't knocking it down. Hmm. Thurgood, please, don't let your stubbornness deny you this wonderful opportunity. Now, I hate to see you make the same mistake you made 25 years ago with the Negro League. A mistake? Is that what you call standing up for something that you nurtured and shaped until you were proud to call it your own? Well, then fine. That's a mistake I'm happy to repeat. And just like the fourth grade, I'm going to repeat it and repeat it until the principal says I don't fit in the desk no more and my mustache is scaring the little kids. Oh, I never knew you fell so deeply. Look, this argument is just childish. We can settle this like adults. I agree. We'll wrestle for it. Mm. It'll be a loser leave town, steel cage, no holes barred nitro smackdown. What are you, insane? Hmm. I see being senator made you soft. What? No one calls this senator soft. You want to wrestle for this building? Fine. Calvin, my tights. And now let's meet our brave warriors. He fought for Unicamera legislative body in this great state of ours. Please welcome Deep the Brain Van Owen. Van of imaginary spiders in a great state of intoxication. Let's give it up for the project's own conquering conquistador, Thurgood Stubbs. Stubbs. Okay, wrestling fans, let's bring on the pain. just like your building's going to. Hey, Mr. Van Owen, you gotta help me. Some crazy lady chained herself to the front of the building. Oh, for the lover. Mary, what are you doing? Standing up for what I believe in. Well, that is, I'm standing up for what my husband believes in, and I believe in my husband. You hear that? Behind every strong black man is his ball and chain. When we first came here, this building was a run-down, dirty slum. But we rolled up our sleeves, pitched in together, and now look! You certainly can't call it dirty anymore. And there's so much more we can do. Jimmy, you haven't finished your Heroes of Black History mural. Do you want to quit that and leave Nat Turner hanging? She's right. Besides, me and Jimmy made a pact that we weren't leaving until we'd made love in every one of these apartments. Yeah, so we'll be here at least another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to finish cataloging all the insects in the building. I was gonna go silver fishing tomorrow. Oh, Calvin, you're my best friend. I don't want to live apart. I hate all of you, but I'm afraid of dying alone. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you people? Man! Look, folks, I'm not gonna force the stadium on you. 
Forget the new apartments, job opportunities, and thousand dollar stipends you were getting. I'll take the money and refurbish the senator's mansion. Get my wife off my freaking back. Hi, we don't care about your job opportunities. Uh, un momento. Did he say stipends? Oh, he said we were each getting a thousand bucks. Tag me in. Tag me in. I'm gonna suplex the super. <laughs>